Hello everybody, welcome back, we're gonna jump right back into this game. I am absolutely loving this game so far. I like the, uh, I'm, I'm kind of playing at a pretty fast pace, but I like being able to have uh, different laws enacted. Sometimes they pop up if you if you kind of need the help, and sometimes they, uh, they let you just kind of pick what's going on. So where are we at? That is waiting for pathing, but they're also building it. Um, what am I searching? Oh, drawing board, level two, or I'm sorry, level one, boiler heating. Okay. I have 12 injured. I think I was going to put down. Nope, I am putting down. That is a uh, medic medical facility. What was I doing with the trees? I have 10 workers in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed it up a bit. Oh, how's this guy doing? About halfway there. I have people over here. You know what? Might as well put the children on it. Workers over here gathering some more coal. Um, how much coal do they have to pick up? About a thousand. Wonder. So I have this economy. Ah, I see. I can do food. We are. Raw food gain is 40 per day. doesn't tell me how much I'm consuming per day. Daily gain, 399. Oh, food rations gain, uh, 80 per day, food consumption, 109. So I need to boost my food production, and that is uh, from hunters. I need another hunter's hut. And I need engineers to go in here. See what uh, laws I can enact. How many people do I have with that are deceased? Zero bodies. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, and there's a. Uh, Thing down here a note of thanks someone has left a note at the care house it reads thank you with all the work we have to do it's a hard it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid places for an invalid places like this make life a little easier okay I think I had a stroke reading that but I'm glad I could help hope rises slightly. Oh, this guy's waiting, so uh, the rest of our people made camp here too, ex too exhausted to go on. We should escort uh, them to the city. So we found survivors. A happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of uh, the driving snow, a ch chore of excitement, excited voices, welcome, cheer of excited voices, welcome us. Thank you, God, you found us. We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go an on any longer. Soon, we become to, we began to starve. Chosen and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Okay, so I can escort them back. Scouts will set out towards our city and bring the survivors quickly and safely with them. Or survivors will set out towards our city on their own. It will take longer and some of them may die. I'm going to go with the second 
option here because we don't currently have houses and i believe it took him like uh 19 or 15 hours to get to that settlement so it'll only take him 19 and 15 to escort them if i understand that correctly so i'm gonna let them come on their own and they're on their own essentially so 15 hours oh okay so it might have been less than uh less than i thought from there let's go and explore the observatory and while they're coming i'm going to try and build up some more tents the roads a bit in this warmer zone so that I can uh, so that I can start building a little bit more housing over here oh I don't have enough trees which how much are they producing seven and a half per hour seven and a quarter per hour sorry cool tech is unlocked uh Generator power upgrade allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by le one level. The coal consumption is doubled when this setting is in use. Mm, I don't really like the coal consumption. Allows us to turn up the generator range setting and extend its heat zone. Ugh, excuse me. The coal use by the generator is doubled. So they're both doubled, which is not fantastic. Uh... I, I, if we can, I'm going to go look for something else that we can actually afford. Oh, okay, so drawing board actually sets up for all oh, the level one stuff. Cool. So is everything 20? Everything looks like it's about 20. 20 wood. Ooh, this was a sawmill upgrade. Allows us to introduce workplace improvements that will raise the efficiency of all sawmills and steam sawmills by 25%. So that's just metal. Oh, this is a steam core, which I don't even know how we get steam cores right now. Wall drill. Drills into the walls and uh, of our crater, uncovers trees that uh, once formed a forest before the ice engulfed them, produces up to 160 wood per standard work day I, I don't know if I can afford a steam core since I only have one steam core coal mining extracts up to 240 coal per standard work day from underground deposits okay let's look at food let's see if we can't do anything here allows us to build a hot house which uh, I'm assuming a hot house is just uh, a few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 30 raw food per day. And we do need food. Oh, this is, this is what it requires to build it. Gosh darn it. I thought that's what it required to research it. No, this is what requires the research it. So 20 wood. Everything pretty much needs 20 wood. Medical post upgrade. Bunk houses. A dwelling for 10 people that is adequately protected from the weather. So that's just a slightly better tent, essentially. Uh, okay, so is there actually anything that we can afford? We can afford that. We might, we might just have to go for that so that our uh, engineers are not sitting idle currently. Go for it. And I forgot to pick something over here. So we don't have any dead we could do a, a public house it would rise uh, it's just a place for people to go and drink we can also start making soup but then uh, hope will fall we can't really afford extra rations right now we do not have enough food as it is Ugh. I feel like 
I feel like doing nothing is the best thing right now, honestly. I'm gonna speed time up a bit. Oh, is that depleted, it looks like? Heck yeah, it is, okay. Ooh, and we might be able to put, yep, four workers there. Children working there. Put one more guy there. Both engineers. That's also engineers. That's that guy. Where are. I want to go to Point Resources. So I don't know what that is. Obviously, the trees would be the forest. That I can put a coal thumper on if I need more coal. Those are also coal deposits. Uh, steel, which I should probably get a go on for steel, honestly. Steel work. I need 25 wood, of course. Okay, so I can provide provisions at least and just kind of road it up. Search for others. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Okay, go for it. Survivors. Something amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precise, precise instruments and the dome is open letting out a thin column of smoke someone's inside survivors the sun is dimming instead of astronomer astronomers reading tonight is hard apparently instead of astronomers we are met by some of our lost people they explain that they came here for help but found everybody dead the astronomers continued their observations until they starved what was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Okay, so that explains why they didn't go south. Like I thought they should go closer to the equator. Escort the survivors to the city. Send them the survivors to the city or leave the survivors to their fate i'm going to send them to the city i mean we're going to have an influx of people coming in but that is oh a-okay so this guy's waiting for instructions we're going to go to the last point sturdy shelter it's 19 hours away for him and these are already kind of filled up oh kind of uh looks like i have like 10 spots or so open which I should have get about 10 more people from that. Um, are they building? Are they building my walkway now? Yes, they are. Okay, sweet. Um, and obviously we need wood. So this needs to be working at full capacity, which is what we're upgrading. Find another settlement. Oh, which was probably that last dot on the screen. What's this? Oh, coal, 90%. 90% efficient, base efficiency. Sawmill upgrade, sweet. Oh, cool, and we actually have a, a good amount of wood now. Uh, wall drill. Might wanna do this, but I should probably do the food. We're kinda of struggling on food right now. We only have 43 uh, rations, and we're gonna have a ton of people coming, and currently, food. Food rations gain, 93 per day. Food consumption, 145 per day. So that means that we're underproducing. And I could enact a, a rule saying about sawdust or soups to make the food go further. But the problem with that is, is that people get discontent real quickly in this game. Got a bunch more people there since we just got survivors in. So they're producing 20, 20, and 20. So that should be 60 per day, 
uh, is that per day? Yeah, per day. And then uh, the cookhouse is producing 40 per hour. So that's four food rations from two raw food. So, so if I'm getting two, four, six, six divided by two is uh, 30, 30 times, or three times four is 120 per day. I should be able to produce by the end of today. And that is uh, not, not close enough, still under, so too sick. Oh, there's a bunch of people sick. It's just telling me that there's two people that need help and aren't in, in the, uh, in there apparently. Oh, and that went up from, uh, oh, that's going up every, every little bit. It's going up. Cool. So steel work. Should probably put one of these down. I don't know if this collects the uh, iron as well, gathers it as well, or if it just brings it to the surface. We'll find out. It'll be Gucci. Oh crap! And I have a cold spell coming. In uh, in uh, ten, number day ten in the morning. How are we doing on a? Uh, storage 900 for coal 300 for wood 300 okay so we got we got a good amount of uh don't have any freaking food that's not good this is running at a certain percentage efficiency that's not great we're going to be building that how much coal do we have 509 and we have uh, so we have about a thousand coal that we have access to, which is good because the cold spell is going to last about two days. Yeah, one, two, yep, exactly two days. So I wonder how this is going to do for, ah, I see, level one to level two. Gonna speed up time a bit. Get this done. That can be workers or engineers. And that only takes 10 workers, so I'm gonna put 10 workers down. So there's six people, six, six people that cannot get into the uh, medical post, which I can also upgrade the medical post. According to this, oh. uh, medical upgrade. Thanks to the improvements of tools and methods. People employed in medical posts will heal the sick 10% faster. I might go for that next to, to have some beds open. Did these people get back yet? No, two hours. So they're gonna be coming in the middle of the night. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. Temperature falls, okay. So I'm doing that way. So cold, turn that on. Cold, turn that on. Cold, turn that on, on. Oh, that's chilly. Is this chilly or cold? That's cold. Is this chilly or cold? Cold. What about this? Cold. Cold. The work shift that's livable. Okay. So, a little bit of discontentment, but that's okay. Negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll make it. Oh, and I have some uh, unhoused people, so I need one more tent down. Put that down. Four, six people are absent. So what if I just restack that? We'll have to take the sick people out. This guy's waiting. Ooh, steam core, rations, wood. We kind of need all that. The shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. Got to search. Uh, sturdy shelter. The trail leads to another city. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door to all scientists 
If you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions, London 1930 or 1934 miles away and home 27 miles. And the site uh, discovered is the steel bridge. Take resources, please. And since you're taking the resources, we kind of need those resources back. We need the food. So, baby, come back. Uh, Two point four per hour, I mean that's okay. Anything that we should enact? Maybe we should do prosthetics. I don't know if anybody's gotten hurt or not. New blueprint. Uh, Available in the factory. I don't know what the factory is. Amputees fitted with prosthetics and medical facilities will be able to work again. But uh, I don't know what that is, but we're going to go for it. Anything unlocked? No. I don't see any factory. Uh, anything for factory. Speed that up so all, all nine of those people are housed now. Oh, did I get something? Food? Oh, hot house. And that'll gain us way more food than currently we're gaining right now, which is sweet. I guess, uh, put it, I'll put it up here close to, um, oh, it's too cold. Crap. Steam cores. We have just used our first steam core. Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. I see. Okay. And we're coming, that guy is coming back with the steam core currently. The expedition travels faster following a known route to a survive survey location. Okay. Two people are hungry. I can start another, uh, I'm gonna do this so that more people can get out. So we have rations, 81 rations. So what's our consumption rate on rations now? So we're producing 120 per day and we're consuming 178 per day. Standard, I might, I might have to uh, enact uh, soup or something for the next thing. I'm gonna put a. Uh, Steam core down. Up here, I believe. I was gonna say, how are we doing on coal? Uh, coal. Uh, coal gain is 264, and we're consuming 304. That's not great. We have eight heaters on, and we're gonna run out of coal here real quick. Um, and we only have 300 coal left. We're, I, I think we're going to probably consume that within within the day. So I'm going to try and get something going on with the thumpers. Uh, coal thumper. Can I place this anywhere? I can place this anywhere. I can place this right next to... Oh, that changes. I might have put that in a bad spot because now I can't build anything here, but... Uh, heck with it. Can I build... Yeah, I can build some tents there. That's fine. Yeah, build two, build two more tents, please. Night is coming. Put down your it needs workers. It's at, uh, it's chilly, but it's low risk, so 
It needs 10 workers. We have a ton of engineers. Children don't need to be working there. In this place, we need 10 workers. Perfect. Uh, it's chilly, but it doesn't need the heater on quite yet. Oh, that's, that's, that doesn't need the heater on either. What needs the heater on then? Oh, I see, because I put it in, uh, in that zone. Scout unit, uh, have returned safely with the resources. Awesome. We needed that. We needed the wood. Uh, we needed the rations. Now everybody can eat. And then the coal thumper will, should be working in the morning. Okay, so are these within the zone? So that's livable. I need this on. Cold, moderate risk, okay. And this is that tower, so if I turn that off, it goes to cold, yep, okay. Now, what's our consumption of coal? Is it less? It's actually a little bit more, I think. Oh, wait, no. It's, uh, it should be less than before. Not exactly sure. <clears throat> Still, nobody has died on my watch, which is awesome. If that amount of uh, iron. This guy's waiting to go somewhere. Heck yeah, you can go uh, go to Steel Bridge. One day, good luck. Oh, that's just telling me how the coal thumper works. So, output is 40 coal per hour, and then the gathering post can uh, grab that coal. Which is good, because we're coming up short on coal. A little bit especially since we're uh, consuming so much more coal than we're uh, gaining don't need uh, another fight pit don't need another do I need another hot house I have 10 people in there Food. We're barely needing the rations per day. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. So, 100, 100, 100. Hot house is uh, three. Cool. Time to fast forward through the night. Might build a. Honestly, I might build another workshop since I have the. Uh, bunch of uh, get rid of that, build another workshop, about there. Build all around. And that should be built hopefully before morning. That'd be nice. Yeah, sweet. It's getting built. Perfect. So now the, uh, I was gonna say, it should tell me 100 rate, 100 rate. I don't know what 100 rate is. Should go just twice as quick, that's fine. So medic bays heal people faster, bunk houses, just better insulated. Let's see, wall drill. Do I need wood anytime soon here? They have 1600 wood there. Currently, I feel like I'm okay on wood. I'm okay on steel. What's this doing? So they have 323. 
they're, but they're producing 50 per hour and they're they're uh, mining 21 per hour so that's that's okay uh, resource depot resource depots will be able to store 50 percent more resources that's a, that's a good one scouts allows us to deploy an additional scout team no i don't really I think one scout team is good for right now <coughs> excuse me coal mining i wonder if that's worth it charcoal kiln allows us to build a charcoal kiln uh uses intense heat to char up to 70 wood per standard workday producing 210 coal. I mean that might be uh, that might be worth it. Oh and then it can become its own little heater I guess. I feel like we need the uh, we definitely need the storage first. Only one house is livable. Which house is that? Oh, care care house. That's what's livable. The elderly, essentially. I wish I could tell you what they are in here for. Honestly, like old age. Is it old age? Is it? Uh, oh wait, does it? This person is in. Okay, that just tells you where they're at. five hours let's see what else we got uh, going on here so here's maybe I should up the range of this because currently temperature is not a problem we're kind of scaling off temperature it's kind of the range problem I have to put those little little thermal reactors down everywhere currently I'm doing more resources which is fantastic uh, I did the hot house Oh, hot house insulation, so industrial. Man, this skill tree is crazy. How large it is. I got 19 people that are sick. I'm trying to heal them as quickly as possible. I might honestly enact uh, overcrowding. But if they have. Uh, I, I made it so that they're, they can work 10% quicker uh, to absent. One employee delivers 10%. Oh, I see that that breaks down the, says what the breakdown is, okay. The hunter's hot down, what's this? Why is this not working? Storage nearly full. Oh, storage is full. So let's build uh, resources. Resources depot. Tonight they'll build that, and tomorrow I will have more wood. Wood. Night is coming. Put down your tools. Still don't know where these people go. Oh, didn't mean to go that far. Help. Prohibitive? Oh, because they're in palliative care. Okay. We only have 21 hours left on the steam core. But in the morning, it should warm up so I can turn off a bunch of stuff around me and we should be uh, good enough, essentially. Our sick are getting harder and harder to care for. Speed up time a bit. Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is. I've got to hold on. People are depending on me. Scouts have reached winter. Winter helm. Home. Bridge to winter home. 
cool. Okay, and then the temperature has rise, so I can turn these off. Uh, so they're chilly now. All that's off. This can go off. This can go off. So we're not con consuming so much coal. Let's see how much coal we're consuming now. So coal gain is 264. So we're not consuming 300 and something per day. That's good. That's good. I might need another gatherer coming along. Because the coal there is 433. I can put people on it though. No, what heck with it. We got a bunch of engineers. They're gonna they're gonna help collect some coal. And we're going to enact the law of overcrowding so that kind of take up some uh, take up some of those beds so I can do another upgrade how much did that uh our sick will be crammed like in a poor house okay resource depots will be able to store 50% more resources. Stockpile, resource depot. Okay, so it can store 45. So it must have been 450. It must have only been able to hold 250, I guess. Did I not? I have another resource depot somewhere. At least I thought I did. Yeah, big deal. Coal mining. Extracts up to 240 coal per standing work day. That might be a good... That also requires a steam core, though. That requires a steam core. That does not require a steam core. And it's a little bit better protection from the weather. I might do the bunk bunk houses. Hopefully they're about the same size. Being treated. And palliative care. 21 are sick. So that coal deposit is currently uh, depleted. This coal deposit is essentially depleted, and that coal on the ground there is being whittled down. We gotta get coal kind of under control. How's food? Is food still good? Yes, food is still up, just above good. That's yesterday, none. Cool. We'll steal. It doesn't say how much we're using, because that's kind of like a just a regular resource. Housing, comfortable, livable, livable, livable. Everything's livable, good. And we have a couple spots. We have uh, vacant beds are 37. House citizens, 183. 16 in care houses, okay. So, eight. Oh, care house doesn't count. Eight. Uh, 13, eight, uh, 17, 20, 21. I can house 21 more people. This guy's waiting. Automation. A brass plague on the bridge tower reads, built by the people of Winter Home in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow free by a working automation. Okay. Uh, bridge to winter home, a functional automation. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at a steel bridge spanning it, even more so at, a, at the huge automation sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disable or dissemble it for resources uh weather station large convoy uh, so the automation will safely reach our city on its own or turn off the automation and disassemble it 
I don't know what the purpose of the automation would be. But we, we're good on steel. We can always find steam cores later. I'm kind of staying away from them a bit now. But yeah, let's let's send her back to the city. Automation sent to the city. We reprogrammed the automation and sent it on its way as it disappears in the distance, walking st steadily towards our city. The first wisp of snow started to settle on the bridge. Okay, so we can send this guy out to go do something else. So I sent him to go to the next location and we're gonna look at this. The search for other cities, deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to winter home pro proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automation under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. That's not great. Hope falls slightly. We'll find out in winter home. Yes, we will. And that is where we're gonna leave it off for this video, guys. So if you liked the video, if you didn't like my choices, if you did like my choices, comment down below. And uh, see you guys in the next one.